What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Jin's Aviation here doing a more awkward airport this time. Orange County John Wayne International Airport, uh, which is located just off Anaheim, uh, more Santa Ana. It's a crazy airport, but it's really long. And um, it's one really long terminal. Whole bunch of planes in here. And has the most awkward ever cargo spot and has awkward flights, and is known for the uh, U.S.'s shortest runway for commercial planes. It's only uh, about 1,500 meters, so the planes, when they're in the threshold at the end of the runway, they will just absolutely floor it while hitting the parking brake. So, uh, Myler going toga thrust, absolutely grounding the gas in there. And then they just release the parking brake. <laughs> they rock it down, and then they do a toga takeoff. And they do it very steep, too, at about uh, probably 65 degree angles. 60, probably 55 to 65 degree angle. Crazy, ridiculously steep. They'll just launch, rock it up. And that's because there's a rich neighborhood, a rich people neighborhood, right at the end of the runway. And they have sued the airport before, I believe, for taking off too low. And so the planes are required to take off high and fast until they're right in the clouds. So I think let's get right into the airport update. I think I'll start over here with our awkward located cargo center. Loading up the, uh, the crew, the flight crew and cargo. We have UPS Boeing 757-200. Uh, it came in from Los Angeles, which is a weird flight again. Uh, and actually, I do have some decent flights from the passenger planes, uh, but he will be heading out to Louisville today. And we'll start right here. Way down to the other side. Starting us off, we have a Delta Boeing 737-900 split scimitars. He'll be heading out to Detroit Metropolitan Wayne. Just pushed back from gate uh, two right there. We have a Delta Umber 170. Uh, the truck is just pulling away currently. Uh, he is about to head out to Salt Lake City in place of a BCS 100, AKA the A220. Loading up uh, right here, we have a Delta 737-200 loading up with passengers with winglets. He'll be heading out to Mi Mi uh, Minneapolis St. Paul today. Loading up passengers right here. We have a Delta Airbus A320. Service out to Atlanta. We're here at gate Alpha 5, I believe. Yeah, Alpha 5. We have a an Alaska um, A319, which just came in from San Francisco. It'll be heading out to Portland on its way up to Seattle. We're here. We have an American 737-800 winglets. Chrome Heritage Retro Livery. Uh, service out to Dallas. American A321 Neo to Phoenix. And do not blame me for always putting the Neos in. Not only is it the only A321, but that's also why I do a lot of California airports. It's really weird because for some reason, they're all headed out to Phoenix. Uh, pretty much. Yeah, they are. Yeah, except for a few Hawaii and stuff. But yeah, anyways. I don't have no clue why they put the Neo on the Phoenix uh, California roofs. It's just ridiculous. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's less fuel consuming, oh, especially quiet for Orange County. You know what? That's it right there. It's quiet. But I don't know. It's just weird. Let me fix the jet bridge to the model here. There we go. Loading up passengers. We have a South uh, American 737-800 winglets. One world livery service to Chicago O'Hare. Just pulling onto the gate, we have an American 737-800 coming in from Chicago O'Hare. And he will be heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth. Couple, uh, we have an empty gate there, which is being pushed back. Maybe another empty gate right here. Loading up passengers right here. We have two United 737-800s. This one is dumping off passengers from a flight out from Houston. And this one right here, and that's a new livery. And they both split scimitars. This guy's going to be heading out to Chicago O'Hare. And then uh, he's going to be back here and going out to Newark Liberty tonight in place of the 737-700, which are very expensive and I don't have a lot of. Empty gate, now on to Southwest Plains. Three Canyon Blue Tails. This is a special livery. Special, though. Uh, first one back there. Regular Canyon Blue 737-700. Uh, 
there's two Dallas left field. And BA1 right here is coming in from Houston. We'll be heading out to Dallas left field as well. Then 737-700 right here is going to be heading out of Phoenix after uh, Chicago Midway. Then last but not least, we have a Frontier Airbus 320 in Charlotte's. Not a Neo, although Aero Classics did kind of make that engine look like a Neo, doesn't it? I mean, that's practically touching the ground. I don't know if you guys can see that well, but I mean, that's pretty. Chile through 20 though, Flower to Hummingbird. Uh, and he will be heading out to Denver after Las Vegas flight. Beautiful lineup. Gorgeous. Huh. Pretty. So thank you guys very much for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please do leave down in the comments below what airports you have recommendations for. I'm thinking of Palm Springs International Airport, which I think will not be too bad. Not be too hard. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video. And I would love to see you in my next video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notification bell. Post notifications if you haven't already. And I do love reminders, so please do not forget to comment in airports. I'm running out of ideas. I'm probably going to start re-updating with some new models. And my god, man, I'm excited for Tennessee 1. I just cannot wait for that model. Tennessee 1, Southwest Airlines, 737-700. It's for 35 bucks, fast and free shipping on eBay which is wonderful. I'm also planning on getting a Spirit A319, but I'm taking off a, a month of spending money this time. And I also have a United A319 coming in the new livery, which I'm excited for. I got it a pre-order. It should be released and heading on its way to my house. So until then, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.